Um, so the question is, what's the difference between a patch antenna and a crosshair? An excellent question. Let's start with the, what a patch antenna is. And of course, we're going to go to Wikipedia, which is always correct about everything. No, it's true. Um, a patch antenna is a printed circuit board with the copper... Normally when we print a circuit board, the copper is designed to sort of carry electricity and be soldered on. But in the case of a, a patch antenna, the copper is designed to act as an antenna. I mean, copper, it's just, it's just metal on a, a substrate. And it uh, acts, if you could have it carry DC electricity, you can have it carry, act like an antenna. It doesn't matter. It doesn't care. The advantage, let me see if I can find more pictures of patch antennas. The advantage of a patch antenna, here is uh, the structure of a microstrip patch antenna. There's a substrate, there's copper printed onto the substrate. Here's another patch antenna. The advantage of patch antennas is that you can use PCB manufacturing techniques to print patch antennas very precisely to very, very tight tolerances, which when you're designing antennas, the length and positioning of the wires is, is critical to the performance of the antenna. So if you've ever gotten an antenna and like it was busted inside or it just didn't perform well because it wasn't designed right, um, that is easy to screw up when you're actually soldering physical wires. Like, take a look at this. Uh, let's see if I can find an opened up luminaire axi antenna. Like, what is the inside of an axe? There we go. So here's what's inside a luminaire axi antenna. And you can see here, oh my goodness gracious. You can see here that it is you know, physical metal wires in a very specific shape, right? And it's a real challenge when manufacturing antennas to get the antenna to consistently be the exact shape that you want it to be. But when you're dealing with patch antennas, every single one is identical because PCB printing is extremely precise. So the advantage of patch antennas is you can mass produce a huge number of antennas incredibly cheaply, and they're all going to be about the same quality. Okay? But the disadvantage of patch antennas is that the... And here uh, I'm going to just start repeating words that people smarter than me have told me. So this is where my actual knowledge sort of ends. The disadvantage of patch antennas is that... The uh, substrate used for the PCB has the wrong impedance, and it basically is really inefficient. You have an efficiency loss. Um, and so patch antennas will always give just a little bit worse RSSI than a crosshair antenna of the, identi of the identical sort of uh, specs. So what is a crosshair antenna? So what's a crosshair antenna? A crosshair antenna is often made with printed circuit boards. Let's see if we can find a crosshair antenna. Here we go. This is the general structure of a crosshair antenna. This is a video aerial systems page. With a crosshair antenna, you have, hello, come on. Here you go. So here's the general structure of a crosshair. You've got a a large sort of back plane, if you will, and then you have a radiating element separated from the back plane by a certain distance. If we go back and look at these actual antennas that Alex has posted pictures of, we can kind of see we've got this metal back plate and then we've got this wires here. And a crosshair antenna a lot of times these pieces will both be printed circuit board or PCB, but because they're separated from each other by an air gap instead of PCB, uh, PDB, or um, sorry, a PCB, you get much better efficiency. 
So that's the takeaway. A crosshair antenna has better efficiency than a PCB patch antenna because it has an air-gapped dielectric instead of a whatever fiberglass or whatever a PCB's dielectric is. Um, and you will get better, you'll get more RSSI that out of a crosshair than out of a patch antenna, but it's larger. It's larger in size and it's a little bit more expensive to manufacture because you don't just print them out by the, by the thousands on a, on a circuit board. All right. Good question. Very good question.